And now, it's time for our daily devotion, daily abiding in Jesus Christ, in the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christo Dogino Baga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily abiding in Jesus Christ. May 11, 2020 Jeremiah 17 verses 7 to 9 Verse 7 Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. 8. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. 9. The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked, who can know it? Quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy No man can of himself understand his errors. The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked, who can know it? Jeremiah 17 9 the lips may express a poverty of soul that the heart does not acknowledge. While speaking to God of poverty of spirit, the heart may be swelling with the conceit of its own superior humility and exalted righteousness. In one way only can a true knowledge of self be obtained. We must behold Christ. It is ignorance of him that makes men so uplifted in their own righteousness. When we contemplate his purity and excellence, we shall see our own weakness and poverty and defects as they really are. We shall see ourselves lost and hopeless, clad in garments of self-righteousness, like every other sinner. We shall see that if we are ever saved, it will not be through our own goodness, but through God's infinite grace. The prayer of the publican was heard because it showed dependence reaching forth to lay hold upon omnipotence. Self to the publican appeared nothing but shame. Thus it must be seen by all who seek God. By faith, faith that renounces all self-trust, the needy suppliant is to lay hold upon infinite power. No outward observances can take the place of simple faith and entire renunciation of self. But no man can empty himself of self. We can only consent for Christ to accomplish the work. It is not only at the beginning of the Christian life that this renunciation of self is to be made. At every advanced step heavenward it is to be renewed. All our good works are dependent on a power outside of ourselves. Christ Object Lessons, pages 159, 160 No man can of himself understand his errors. In one way only can a true knowledge of self be obtained. We must behold Christ. When we contemplate his purity and excellence, we shall see our own weakness and poverty and defects as they really are. We shall see ourselves lost and hopeless. We shall see that if we are ever saved, it will not be through our own goodness, but through God's infinite grace. By Ellen G. White, Christ Object Lessons, page 159.